Awesome Monkey Productions has brought by some of the stars from Murder Hill, which is filming now in Rome. With us today, Tom Proctor. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you doing? Good, good. He gave me a hug. I was scared he was going to strangle me, <laughs> but <laughs> we've also uh, we've got Marilyn uh, Gigliotti. Yeah. <laughs> How'd I do? Gigliotti. That's Gigliotti. Yes, uh, yeah, close enough. Close <laughs> enough. <laughs> thank you so much for coming in. Oh, thank you. Pleasure and to be here. And we've also uh, got the director, Claude Bushinger. Close enough. <laughs> All right. <laughs> no, we didn't give you too hard a name. <laughs> uh, I, I, you know, and I'm no good with names either, so <laughs> that makes it a little more difficult for me. So how do you guys like Rome? Beautiful place. Have you Very ever quick. been before in Rome? I have not, but I, I got to tell you, I love it. It's just got a, you know, a small town feel. Everybody's just been wonderful, and I, I actually like it. Yes. Now, you started filming Murder Hill. You're, yeah. we're, we're filming enough for the trailer right. this week. That's right. Correct. You met with our winner, Nicole. Mm -hmm. We gave away a murder with you, Tom. How did Nicole do? Oh, she was she was awesome. She was, you know, nervous, of course. Yes. And, um, you know, especially when she found out we didn't have money for her blood effects and we were going to actually kill oh. her. <laughs> but, you know, she adapted to it really well and, you know, we gave her a decent burial. And, uh, you know... She won't be calling in. <laughs> she won't be calling in, but uh, we're hoping we can dig her up for the feature, you know. I mean, it'll be... The effects will be more into play by then because she will have, you know, deteriorated. But yes, <laughs> we'll do a little, little post. We'll fix it in post. Now, post, 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 post. Tom, when I when I read over uh, some of the things you've been doing throughout your life, you're like a kid that never grew up. I mean, you're riding horses, you're doing motorcycles, you're. Uh, I mean, you're doing all sorts of stuff, and now you're in the movies. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, you're right. You got it right. I'm a kid that never grew up. You know, <laughs> six out of seven of my ex-wives always would tell me, you know, <laughs> why don't you grow up? And I, I said, okay, here's the math. Is there any money in it? Because I really don't like adults. I don't want to hang out with them. So if, if, there, if there's a reason, give me a motivation for growing up. Because I make a good living being a kid. <laughs> it sounds like you're having a lot of fun, too. I'm doing great. Do you still break the Mustangs or, you know? I, I do when I get a chance. I, I, I try not to, but there, you know, if I get a buddy that calls me and says, hey, you want to come play? You know, I, it's one of those things where I still just can't resist that. Right. Um, and, uh, and I... I don't like do some of the things like I don't fight professionally anymore. Mm -hmm. I, I still go to the gym and you know the middle age crisis. Some guys grab two young women. I beat up two younger guys, <laughs> and that, you know <laughs> makes me think, okay. You still got it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, what do you prefer more, movies or TV? Is there a difference between doing a TV series and being on the big screen? There is a difference in the way they shoot. Mm -hmm. uh, TV is a much faster pace, you know, especially there are, there are certain sets that I call like hot sets where they just, they just go and uh, Justified was that way. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you had Walden Coggins who were always throwing like wild lines and you better be able to pick it up and roll. And, and, um, and then you've got the, the set of like Nashville where you're in the room with four of the writers who want to hear their words at their pace and you, you know, Got to be on top of it, and I like that. I like that. I like the challenge of that. Um, the feature films, I I just like more because I'm kind of a narcissist and I like seeing myself on a big screen. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and I, I especially like I love doing Guardians of the Galaxy because it was the first thing that I you know my grandkids went in and saw that show and then I was their hero and. A lot of the things I did, you know, my grandkids will say, what are you working on, Grandpa? What are you working on? And I go, mm -hmm. um, a mayonnaise commercial. Because, <laughs> you know, I really didn't want them to see Lawless or 12 Years of Slave. Yeah, some of that right. stuff they can't see. Yeah, I just, uh, I'm not Django. <laughs> Django, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Marilyn. Yes. Have you been in this area before? Because you're from New York City, correct? I, well, I was born in New York. I was most of my life in New Jersey. But I've never been above the city itself. Uh, in fact, last month I was in White Plains, New York. I didn't realize how close to the city that was. 
So, yeah, no, my first time in this area, and it was kind of nice to be in real suburban again. Um, <laughs> because it's like you have your close to suburban areas right. in L.A., but, you know, nothing like here. And this is, I, I would think you would call this the country. You, you know? Uh, well, we, I would say where we were filming, sure. Yes. <laughs> 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 At least beyond cell phone reception. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Place yeah. Beyond cell phone. yeah. So, uh, you've been in uh, mostly movies. And yes. that you had a couple series as well. What do you prefer, the big screen or TV? Wherever I get paid. Wherever. <laughs> 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 that's all yeah. So that's the kind of good job. <laughs> Cash on the dresser, <laughs> and she owns it. All pros. <laughs> all pros. Yeah. Oh. Oh. You know, there are there's the exceptions, but yeah, no. I, I love I love film, and and I've done some TV, but mostly it was background work. You know, trying to get that that elusive sad card for most people but um, but yeah no I enjoy I enjoy both you right what are you most excited about with murder hell <laughs> have you seen any of the promo photos <laughs> <laughs> are we allowed to talk about that uh, well, I mean you know there there was a shot of me just all bloodied up with an uh, with a machete yes. mm -hmm. um, very nice so watch out Danny Trejo know, can't really say much but it's like that was it was a blast to do uh, we're going to show our listeners that, so uh. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. We're going to do our best to get some of those photos out. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, Claude, how's it going directing these guys? It's going good. These guys make it very, very easy. Mm -hmm. There's nothing better than working with people who are such consummate professionals. Mm -hmm. uh, one take wonders often. Really? <laughs> Always give me what I want and go <laughs> that much further. Now, now, are you working real close with Anna? I mean, how are Oh, no, we're, we're creating a team here. Okay. We're creating like a pocket industry right here in Rome. <laughs> so we've got producers, writers of right. the highest caliber. Uh, their credentials are ridiculous. And then you all get together. You get the same feel and the same idea going, and it's up to you to get that out of the actors. So a lot of times when writers are set free with their imagination to create a world, sometimes that world has to be translated into what we can actually film. Mm -hmm. And so my job is just to translate their amazing words to these amazing talents. And I think what we've come up with is something pretty great. And again, if you look at the stills that we've been posting, yeah. uh, it's, there's some pretty <laughs> iconic imagery. So. I know. Where do you hope uh, this movie's actually going to end up? Everywhere. Everywhere. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, everywhere. Oh, man. What, what our hope is that we're not going to treat this like just a genre piece, but that right. we're going to be able to transcend genre and have iconic imagery that goes not just to horror fans, right. but to people who like film, to people who like entertainment of yes. all kind. Even people who love radio. I can, <laughs> I can see that. I can definitely see that happening because you've got all you've got the Rome community and all the surrounding communities uh, in Central New York really encouraging this and and uh, right behind it all the way. So it's really exciting. Now tonight you have got the Hollywood Mixer. Tell me about that. What are you going to be doing there? Basically meeting. Meeting fans and just, just like to bring in awareness of <laughs> what we can do, I guess, out, out here. Yeah, the interaction with the, the Rome as a town, the community, and everybody who's gotten behind us so fervently. It's been, like, really inspirational. And I feel like if we can bridge the gap between here's the New York City and New York as a state, it would make me really happy, right? And then what we're allowed to do here is create all this new material, all this new content and then hopefully that content and that creation will drive business. So it could be a win-win for everybody. Tom, I didn't ask you, what's the most exciting part of you filming Murder Hill? Uh, the most exciting, to be honest with you, it, it's, I, I've, I've done Killer a million times, but you usually, uh, horror films are not, necessarily required to be well written. The writing is amazing on it and and I I'm a big fan of Marilyn's and so to get to work with her on it is like, you know and I mean if, if you look me up I I I've done fight scenes with Bruce Willis, Stallone, uh, Jessica Chastain, Tom Hardy, I've been in scenes with, with major stars. 
And but her, I'm just a fan of her not only as an actor but a person. And so, I've I've, here, here. I've been trying for some time to get an opportunity to work with her. Yeah, it's, and, it was how long ago that we met? Uh, two years. Two years ago, and I've been. Every time a film part come up where they had me and I saw something was right for her, I'd say, hey, how about hiring this girl? <laughs> hey, hey, put us together. Hey, yeah, hey. Yeah, well, yeah, it's, it's, uh, like a, it's been, I think, the last six months or a year that, you know, we've been trying to get that, yeah. that work together, but... You know, that was my next question. Have you worked together before? No. So no, first this time. is the first time. And it's been such a blast. It really has. You know, other than she locked me out of her hotel <laughs> <laughs> and won't answer the door late at night. And that's <laughs> that's for insurance purposes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, we're yeah. not covering yeah. production insurance. Oh, we're not covering the movie you're making, that. making, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Safety first, Tom. <laughs> Especially of all people, she's not going to answer the door for you. <laughs> Sweetheart, it really is. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's why you answered your door with your machete in your hand. Because huh? <laughs> <laughs> you're a sweetheart. Putting Danny Trejo to the test here, you know. <laughs> We're calling you out, Trejo. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much for stopping in. We're going to see each other soon because I know you're only here filming this week in Rome, but then you'll be back later on to do the feature. And I heard from Awesome Monkey Productions, I'm actually going to be allowed on set one day. Hopefully. I'm going to have my own director chair. He's going to put Cindy <laughs> McMullen on it and everything. I don't That's what I that. heard. Yeah, okay. and, and, and do we get the killer? Absolutely. Uh, you're going to kill me? Tom, Tom. Quiet, quiet. Oh, that's why he was giving me my own chair. It's yeah. part of the scene. It's easier for me to sneak up behind you if you're in a chair. <laughs> All right, we'll see you soon, and uh, thanks for stopping in. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. Thanks a lot.